Hello, my name is Eric Westra. Welcome to the course QGIS Python Programming Techniques by Pact Publishing. I've been developing software for a long time and have worked almost exclusively in Python for 15 years, though in the last year or two I've also been developing phone apps using JavaScript and Objective-C. In the 1990s, I developed one of the most sophisticated systems in the world for running urgent messenger delivery companies then turned my attention to building a high-volume geocoder for consolidating online classified ads. More recently, I've been working on developing phone apps that capture and record the user's location, both as a guide for cyclists and to detect possible fraud when making online transactions. I'm also the author of several books, including Python Geospatial Analysis, Building Mapping Applications with QGIS, and Modular Programming with Python, all published by Pact Publishing. This course looks in depth at the process of writing geospatial programs using QGIS and Python. You'll learn how to build sophisticated geospatial applications on top of QGIS. We'll start with an in-depth look at the PyQGIS API, concentrating on how you can use the PyQGIS library to display information on a map. We'll then look at how standalone Python applications can use the PyQGIS library to let the user select and edit geospatial features, and we'll finish our exploration by building a sophisticated turnkey mapping system called Forest Trails. This video provides a summary of the entire course. There are seven sections in this course. In section one, displaying information, you will learn how to use PyQGIS to display information on a map. In section two, selecting and editing features, you will learn how to add functionality to a standalone PyQGIS based application that lets the user select, add, edit, and delete geospatial features. In section three, designing the Forest Trails application, we'll start working on the major application for this course, which is called Forest Trails. In this section, we will look at the business requirements for our program and see how these requirements can be met using a custom written, standalone PyQGIS based application. In section four, implementing the Forest Trails application, We'll start work on our application, creating the overall program structure and defining the application's user interface. In section 5, adding maps and some initial tools, we'll set up a base map to use for our program and then implement the pan map tool in track editing modes. In section 6, adding and editing tracks, we'll continue our implementation of the Forest Trails system by implementing the logic required to add edit and delete tracks. And finally in section 7, finishing the application, we'll complete our implementation by writing the logic needed to calculate the shortest path between two points and finish by testing our program and exploring how you might want to take it further. By the end of this course you will be a competent PyQGIS developer, able to develop sophisticated standalone programs based on the PyQGIS library. You'll know how to customize the display of information on a map and how to create map tools to let the user add, edit, and delete vector format geospatial data. You'll also have a great example program which you can use as the starting point for your own development efforts. To work through this course, you'll need to be an experienced Python programmer. It will help to have some familiarity with geospatial development techniques. And having worked with QGIS before, including writing simple scripts using PyQGIS and Python. But we don't expect you to be an expert in any of these. After all, you're here to learn, and if you pay attention, even a novice geospatial developer will quickly be able to come up to speed. So let's get started. <laughs> 